without you But my hands and my knees are all This war ages on Was I better off without you I felt I had lost a home Until you spoke Welcome back to another Chris Daily vlog, guys. Woo! At this point, you might as well expect a couple of videos every several months. Yeah. I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? I know it's been a while since I started vlogging, and obviously, the last video you guys saw was my Portland trip. It happened right before the beginning of summer, so I ended up not vlogging at all in the beginning of summer, which was kind of bad because, you know, I was kind of hoping to vlog a lot, but, you know, my focus shifted elsewhere, even though I made a statement that I would focus more on YouTube. So, I just got back from the gym. Um, today was a deadlift and squat day. For some reason, every single year when it's fall, I always want to get back on the gym grind. In my mindset, or in everybody's mindset, September is the time when school starts. You say, I'm going to stop doing this now. It's time to get my shit together and all that whatever for me i'm not in school anymore but i still have that mindset so in terms of my gym life um it is now nearing the end of october and since september i've actually been busting my ass in the gym i am on a bulk as usual i start a bulk every september but this bulk is going to be a little bit different so last year i was on creatine i was taking mass gainer those two things are the things that i'm going to cut out of this year's bulk mainly because I want to try to get more whole foods in and hopefully I can be cleaner this year. I can be cleaner this year. Woo! Yeah, whatever. Okay. So what have I been up to? So lately I've been focusing particularly more on Instagram and not really on YouTube. It's a lot easier to focus on Instagram while working than it is focusing on YouTube because I work, you know, your typical nine to five, Monday to Friday. So the only real time I can film is on the weekends, but I've been spending my weekends catching up with everybody that I've been missing out on or all the people that I haven't seen in so long, mainly because of work, school, whatever you name it. In the past three years, I've always been gone. So here I am filming a video on a Saturday. That's what it is. John's on his way to come and pick me up. We're gonna go out and shoot. John has been in previous videos or, uh, sorry, JC has been in previous videos. John and I are gonna go and shoot today because he's getting himself into photography now. He's actually gonna be here any second, so I'm actually gonna bring him up. As a matter of fact, I think he's here. He's here right now. Let's go. He has no idea I'm filming him right now. What's up, bro? What's good, bro? I don't know why, but John asked for a reason. Here you go. <laughs> you said disposable razor, right? Relax, man. Why you gotta just why you gotta expose me like this? Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> what's up? What's up? Look at this guy. It's a freaking weekend and he's going 20 kilometers. Guys, just so you know, John here is a pretty aggressive driver. Dude, you don't deserve to be on the over fucking road. 
This guy, okay, I'm not gonna lie though, this guy is actually pretty slow. So, John got his new car in March, and his radio system was, you know, it, was, it wasn't that bad. Um, his speakers were working perfectly fine. The speakers are actually not functioning anymore. It used to be that you could like put like a stick here and get it in the right angle and the speakers will actually play. But now it's so hard to do it that John doesn't even do it anymore. <laughs> so we have to result to alternatives such as bringing our own portable speakers. That's way cheaper than just replacing the speakers in, in general. I'd rather just like spend the money on other things. Another problem he has is in summer, he doesn't have an AC system. Yeah. I've ridden in his car multiple times in summer, and when he starts the car, John likes to wait, like, I don't know, 10 minutes before he actually leaves, just to let all the hot air out. John, John is living that frugal life right now. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You, you don't get rich by spending money. Oh, you hear that, guys? That's a lesson. Alright, so one of the cool things that I've been doing over the summer is collaborating with some brands on Instagram. One of those brands is called Band City Key. Where's my key right now? So these keys right here is an exclusive membership. Um, you call it the Vancouver Key to the City. And if you have one, you're called a key holder. Now what this grants you is it grants you discounts at various restaurants. It could be like a free appetizer, 10% uh, off your meal. Um, or it can even, it doesn't even, it's not even just restaurants, it's also recreational places. Um, one of the places that John and I went to before, we went to the Hive. That's a bouldering place, so it's kind of like indoor rock climbing. And I think we got, it's buy one, get one free, which is pretty sick. Um, we paid for the price of three, but we got six people in, so that's pretty, honestly, it's pretty dope. I did a giveaway for them in, in Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, check out my Instagram page, check it out. So that was the first company that I collaborated with. The second company that I collaborated with was called Vessi. They hit me up, they said, hey, we really like your page. We're Vessi and we created this completely waterproof knit shoe. It's 100% waterproof. And when I got the shoe, I tested it out and oh, it was actually insane. Like it's actually waterproof, which was dope. And you'll probably see in a future video. So those are the two biggest brands that I've collaborated with in the summer. And it's crazy, I, I really look forward to collaborating with more people. Turns out we're at the Ayoko Boat Club. We're technically on the borderline of trespassing. This guy wants to do some sketchy shit. Hey, right? I want to explore. Yeah, I don't really want to get in trouble, to be honest. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Bro, a legit train is coming. Bro, it's moving. It's not moving. It's moving slowly, that wasn't there before. There's obviously a, a, tra a train conductor in there. How does it feel knowing that you're gonna be sitting right here with me, chilling right here? But you're looking from the sidelines over there. Yeah, cool, say you don't care. Can never stay, I can never come in. Hey, let's know you're upset. Cause you see the glow, you're the girl up next. Yeah, you thought I wouldn't make it. You never been more wrong. You didn't think I'd make it. So, look at our little ghetto setup over here. Um, I'm filming with the 30 mil right now because it's the only cam it's the only lens I have for the the dark for the darkness. Oh, you know what? I can use my we can use my 16 mil. Oh shit, you're right. Oh, yeah, we'll try it. We switch lens. Yo, John, show them yourself. You can show hey, them yourself. This, this is my lens. This is my 16 mil. Yeah, so 1.4. This, this is John's 16 mil 1.4 lens, which I don't have, which is pretty sick. I have a 30 mil 1.4. But as you saw in the previous clip, it's all zoomed in and you can't move it because it's a prime lens. But yeah, so um, we're just gonna take a couple more shots and then we're gonna go get some gains at BCT Big Chicken Town. Later. How, how does it feel? Knowing that we could have been in love for real. Going steady, you weren't ready. Now I'm on to the next one still. You thought I wouldn't make it. You never been more wrong. You didn't think I'd make it, yeah. You didn't think I'd make it, yeah. You missed your chance, baby. I coulda let you come along. I bet you hate it, don't you? Yeah. I bet you hate it, don't you? Yeah. Are you the film program or something? Uh, not no, really. Not really. Just, just for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> just like. What do you got there for camera? I have like 30 videos, I think. You're not in school for film or anything. Well, I do film production. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? And we do 400 projects a year. Yeah. And one of the big expanding parts of my business is actually social media. Yeah. And manufacturing 
things like that for corporations. So you guys are vloggers? You don't yeah. want to do this for a living then. People are already working as an account. Uh, it was nice meeting bye. you. Bye. See ya. So was it a good at first, I, I thought this guy was like a security guard and he was gonna kick us out. So his name's Andrew Foster. If, Andrew, if you're watching this, Andrew, if you're watching this, shout out to you, buddy. Yeah, he's a creative director of a studio called AF2. Honestly, that was a crazy experience. I here it is. Oh, you just you just completely disagreed that car, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your destination. Why did you is disregard that car? Um, what is this though? This is dope. What is that? Oh, it's a fucking arcade. Bowling. I, I oh yo. Oh shoot. Should we go in there? You'll, yeah, let's shoot it. after? Yeah, let's, let's I guess it. we're shooting in there. We're probably gonna stop by here after. We're gonna bowl. No, we're not gonna bowl. We're you gonna... like? You, you want to bowl, bowl? If Don pays for my shoe rental and one game, I will bowl for the however many games he will pay for. I guess we're doing it. We're doing it after we eat. He's uh, restating the contract of our agreement, or rewriting our our, our, our contractual agreement. Us going to bowling will depend on the price. So I'm gonna go check it out real quick while we wait for our food. So I couldn't say, see the price, I think you actually have to go to death, but it's actually a long line. It's by hours here, not by like, game. Yeah, I'm not like thinking straight right now because I'm like hungry AF. <laughs> so, you know, after we eat, we're gonna go there, take a look and see if we still wanna, we still wanna play. Damn, look at that goodness. Ooh. Welcome to the Chris Daly Mukbang. We're starting out with some rice cakes and some freaking basic deep fried, you know, chicken. Mukbang gang gang. <laughs> Alright, so we're done eating now and we're at the car and we chose not to go bowling and uh, we underestimated how much food we were gonna eat and I feel super tired and I, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep behind the wheel so I don't think bowling is in our best interest so um, I mean it wasn't in my best interest to start with so hey hey <laughs> hey don't hate for wanting to spend time with my friend damn bro Okay, even though I see this guy Monday to Friday, <laughs> 9 to 5, every damn day. Yeah, anyways, that's it for today's vlog. Um, I honestly, at this point, I might as well not promise you guys any content in the future because I don't even know if I'll have the consistency to, to even get more vlogs out. But let's just see how things go. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.